All right, welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily, where you subscribe for a video on the cryptocurrency market every day. My name's Austin, and like always, let's get to the top stories making news in our crypto industry today. Starting with, South Korea has officially opened up its doors to bring in the Bitcoin bulls. South Korea declares a partial regulation-free zone for crypto companies. Check this out. Busan has been declared a regulation-free zone for blockchain development by South Korea's national government, a move long expected but now formalized as part of a larger liberation push. So South Korea is saying yes, if you're involved in cryptocurrency or blockchain, we want you to come to us and develop in South Korea. We want to be part of this larger liberation push for this new tech. Zug Switzerland is said to be one of the models for the zone. If this piece of news sounds familiar at all, it's because they actually announced that they were going to do this on July 24th. This channel covered it. And oftentimes when you see these announcements, that they're going to do something, you never really know if this announcement will ever come to fruition. Well, as of today, this is happening. And if you're asking, well, what regulations are they are they freeing up? What's really changing in South Korea? A total of 11 regulations have been lifted for the project. It is expected that investors will move 29.9 billion won equivalent to $25 million into the region in the next two years by 2021, and development will be spread between the Muhayan Innovation District, the Sentum Innovation District, and the Dongsam Innovation District. So this is, I mean, this is a big deal for South Korea. It's funny to, to, be, to see in real time how these smaller countries are acting compared to the bigger countries, like the U.S. or China or Russia. Because the U.S., for example, fears that its position as a world power will be degraded if they accept cryptocurrency. And on the other hand, South Korea is using their new position on cryptocurrency companies to further their position to become more of a power in the world. Is the USA in trouble? Is this the game theory that Anthony Pompliano was talking about? The important part is that a the countries that embrace this first are going to have a significant advantage moving forward. The game theory is that w some country is going to embrace this in a very, very serious way, whether it's China, Russia, the United States, somewhere in Europe or South America, somebody's going to do it. And the first country that does it or the first couple... Because it, the advantage becomes what? Be because you can't stop it, right? And so the second that a country starts to um, adopt it, every other country is going to end up playing catch up. If you have an opinion, let me know down below in the comments. But next piece of news. Grayscale's $2.7 billion in crypto assets will now be held by Coinbase Custody. This was just announced on Friday. And if you don't know, Grayscale's a trust for institutional investors as well as retail investors to get exposure and invest in, in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency assets. And I guess their custody is now going to Coinbase. Grayscale Investments has tapped Coinbase Custody to serve as the new security provider for its digital asset holdings, the company announced Friday. The custodian, i.e. Coinbase, which Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong says already holds $1 billion in assets, will act as a custodian for Grayscale's single asset and, diver and diversified investment products. So Coinbase Custody is now going to offer custody to what Grayscale holds which is Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Stellar Lumens, XRP, and Zcash. Coinbase Custody also intends to hold Grayscale's Horizon, Zen Token, pending regulatory approval to support the asset. All right. So, I mean, there's two schools of thought here. One is, should Coinbase, a centralized entity, be in charge of so much Bitcoin, so much cryptocurrency under one roof? Uh, I mean, I'm not, an, I'm not an institution, but me personally, I believe not your keys, not your coins. I want to hold my Bitcoin, so nobody else is in charge of that. But on the other hand, Coinbase is legal, it's regulated, and they're doing exactly what they were designed to do. How regulated? Coinbase custody is regulated through the New York Department of Financial Services and is a regulated fiduciary under New York's banking law. In a statement, Coinbase Custody CEO Sam M. explained that the business is held to the same fiduciary standards as national banks, 
We also offer some of the broadest and deepest insurance coverage in the crypto industry. So they're safer than a whole lot of other places. But again, let me know what you think down in the comments. Whatever your opinion is, uh, Coinbase is 100% setting themselves up to be a major player for cryptocurrency in the next five to 10 years. All right, I wanna give you guys a little bit of a Bitcoin cryptocurrency market update. Before we do that, some news on Craig Wright. Craig Wright to pay $73,000 in legal fees for losing a libel claim against Roger Ver. Self-proclaimed Bitcoin investor Craig Wright has lost one of the several libel suits that he filed against members of the crypto community whom he claimed damaged his reputation by labeling him a fraud. So he wasn't able to prove in any legal way that in fact he wasn't a fraud. The court said, no, you have, you have to pay. You can't prove that you're not. On the issue of reputation, Judge Nicolin stated that lawyers representing Craig Wright could not provide ev enough evidence to back the global reputation he enjoys and more particularly, the extent to which it has been damaged. Now, obviously he could have avoided all fees if he could just prove that he is Satoshi and sign that original Genesis block, but he couldn't. And make no mistake, 73,000 is nothing to this Bitcoin multimillionaire, but it's one of many. And this just shows that even on these, he still has many, many more um, lawsuits pending. And this was one of the smaller ones. And he couldn't even prove that he was right in these smaller ones. But as we get more information, you know what? I'll keep you updated. Next piece of news from Bitwise. Bitwise just released a letter to their investors saying that Facebook's Libra has moved Bitcoin and cryptocurrency adoption ahead by three years. Check this out. And you know what? This is the implications of Facebook's Libra is nothing that this channel has not brought you in the last two, three weeks. I mean, I've showed you clips of Anthony Pompliano talking about how, yes, Facebook's Libra is bullish for Bitcoin. So this is nothing that you don't know. But the reason that I want to bring this to you today is just because this letter went out to the investors on an investor level. So check this out. United States-based cryptocurrency index fund provider Bitwise declared that Facebook's Libra stablecoin accelerated Bitcoin's progress by three years in a letter to investors published on the website on August 1st. In the letter, Bitwise's global head of research, Matt Hogan, said on behalf of the company, thanks to Facebook's Libra in Congress, we have just fast forwarded two to three years into crypto's future accelerating all the conversations, debates, mainstream discussions into the present day. And yes, cryptocurrency in general is being scrutinized right now on a government level, but even this scrutiny and attention will be good for crypto in the long term. It will give investors the assurance that regulators are involved and will clarify guideline and will clarify guidelines under which the mature version of crypto can develop. Maybe this is the reason that we saw Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin, almost touch $11,000 yesterday. Team, that's all I got today. That's the end of the video. If you got any value, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. We drop a video every single day. You do not want to miss one. And like always, I'll see you tomorrow. For those that do want to stick around, let's just do a little bit of an update for you. At one point yesterday, Bitcoin was over 10,800, close to breaking the 11K resistance. Seems we are correcting a little bit right now at $10,626. And of course, Bitcoin dominance continues to rise. While well, Bitcoin's down about 1.5% right now, everything else down anywhere from 2 to 4. Except for Tether, around 0. All right, and last but not least, just a little updates on us. Guys, ever since that Tron event uh, that we they flew us to, Aaron and I had a blast doing a little man on the street interviews with other people. And while we don't necessarily plan on attending another cryptocurrency event, unless we're invited, then we definitely consider and probably go. We are eyeing some local ones near us. Don't know if we're gonna go to this yet. It's October 13th through 18th, uh, Los Angeles Blockchain Week and specifically Crypto Invest Summit, but it is local. And on their website, we did apply to be media. 
build the lettuce in for free, which that would be cool. Uh, we're gonna try and do some more man on the street type stuff with them. Um, let me know if any of you guys are attending and if you know who's in charge of hooking us up as media. Let me know down below in the comments. Last thing, uh, coin mine, which is a little device where you can mine cryptocurrency at home. They sent me a coin mine. So it's not gonna be a paid review, but I've hooked it up. I've started like mining Satoshis in my living room. So I'm gonna do a review on those, on this. Again, it's not gonna be paid. I'm just gonna be very honest because my, I guess my mindset has always been, well, why would you invest in this? I just buy Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin's gonna appreciate, so you don't need to buy these contraptions. But that being said, this is backed by Anthony Pompliano and backed by Coinbase, so it's definitely legit compared to other things in the business. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna make a video in about four to six weeks, just being very honest on if investing in one of these is worth it. So just FYI, expect that in a few weeks. If you have a different piece of hardware that you'd really like to uh, know if it's worth it or not, leave a comment. I definitely like to vet it on this channel and see. But again, you guys make your own decisions. And that's it. See you tomorrow.